Hey, this is Luke Simons with Salt Strong. In this video, we're gonna do a review of this spinning rod. This has been one of my favorite rods. I've been using it for a little over a year now, and I've just fallen in love with it. This is now my go-to rod. And the core reason why I really like this rod is that it is just perfect for throwing artificial lures. When you need a little bit stronger rod to handle heavier, heavier lures, and, it, and the tip strength is strong enough where it allows for just great topwater action. You can walk the dog with topwater plugs just very easy and efficiently and uh, while also having the feel of a, of a lighter rod. So I can feel even small pinfish. When I try to catch pinfish for bait on hook and line, I can feel a tiny little pinfish strike, while also this has the power to handle really big fish. Obviously, snook, redfish, and trout is what I typically go after, but I have landed a 50-pound tarpon on this rod, and it handled it amazingly well. I was very shocked that, uh, that a light rod can, uh, can handle a good-sized fish like that. Um, the, the manufacturer is Temple Fork Outfitters. A lot of people will just call it TFO. And this one in particular, I absolutely love. It's, the, it's in their signature series line. It's a, uh, it's a seven foot six medium power rod uh, that is rated for, let's see, six to 12 pound test. I use 10, so it's right in the gap. Uh, best of all, it's not one of the really, really expensive models, yet it performs like it. And uh, so even when money's not an option, I'll still go with this. So Temple Fork Outfitters, be, be sure to check them out. This rod in particular, it is a seven foot, six inch rod. And the reason why I really like that is, is the actual, the, the butt on this rod is uh, it's a little bit shorter than most, but it's, uh, it's plenty enough to, to just go through the full elbow when you're, when you're fighting a fish. And uh, what that allows for, it allows for a longer uh, actual rod. So it basically casts like it's a longer rod uh, while being able to store and, and just carry it through doorways easier than say like a, a, seven, a 710 or, or eight foot rod. So uh, again, you get a lot of good casting distance and the, uh, the extra power and stiffness towards the tip just allows for really good accuracy. Uh, I actually use this for skipping lures up under docks and mangroves. Really the only bad thing I can say about these rods is just that they're hard to find. There are not many dealers carry these. So in, in most cases, you'll probably have to get it online. And what I'll do is I'll put a link down below to, to, to show you where I get mine and I'll just continually update it for wherever the best deal is I can find. And uh, that way, if, again, if you do wanna check one out, you can, you can use that link, get it. But either way, if you, do, if you do have a store near you that carries these, highly recommend just picking one up, give it a feel, and I'm sure you're gonna like it because it has been, been very helpful in my inshore game. If you have any questions at all, you can leave a comment down below. Otherwise, hope you can get out on the water soon and catch some big ones. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live salt strong and wear the line today